Hello everyone. Today I have a remodel of the gym in Willow Creek and I am calling it the Willow Creek Gym. I am working on a Tony Refresh series if you didn't know and along with that I am going to be redoing some of the other buildings in each world as I go along and I decided to start with the gym. Personally, I've never been a huge fan of this gym, so I wanted to redo it. One, pools have been added to the base game since, you know, these worlds were created. So I wanted to add a pool and I wanted to make it fit a little bit more into the world than the current gym does. I mean, it fits, but I don't know. It could be better. So I made it better. Okay. So I did have some inspiration for this build and really it was this picture right here. And this is a, I believe like a fitness club or, or gym or something in New Orleans. And I loved that you could look down at the pool from above. So what I have done is the pool is the bottom level, the kind of entry area with check-in desk is on the bottom level. And then up top is where like the gym equipment is. Now, this is base game only. If you have not checked out my Tony Refresh series, I will link to that here above and in the description down below. But what I am doing is creating pretty much an entire, you know, save file that is going to have builds based on base game and then whatever world it is. So base game only worlds, Willow Creek, Newcrest and Oasis Springs will all be base game only. So this build is just base game. That being said, I did kind of put extra equipment into this build so that you would have an option of adding to it if you have some other packs. So yeah, that's why there's so much of the same equipment and a little bit of space. So that's a that's a heads up if you're going, and eh, I want to add this. There's room. There's room. Okay. So I wanted it to blend in really well with these buildings. So created kind of the same look and feel, but with its own twist. Uh, it definitely screams like upscale gym to me, and I love that. It's not, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's a cute build. I did struggle a little bit trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do on the outside of this build, but the end product is wonderful and I love it. And I will be putting this into a lot of my own games. If you've never watched this channel, I'm also doing like a legacy game on my own. It's it's not something I'm recording for YouTube. But I'm creating kind of a base game file, save file as well, that I can kind of pull from for other things. I like to pay it play like by myself, you know, as myself or, you know, my family. And I have decided to kind of grow myself up since we have like growing together and all that fun stuff and then allow myself to start as an adult with family relationships and all that already intact. So it's going to be kind of a file that I'll copy for various gameplay. So I'm kind of building up that world since it's going to be a base for a lot of the gameplay I do, not everything, because sometimes I like it to just be me, okay? <laughs> I just miraculously appeared. So those those are easy. I'm not, yeah. That that's not a big thing. Like everybody can do that very simply. 
but I wanted to kind of create a world. So I think I'm gonna actually throw this gem into the Willow Creek save file, or the Willow Creek world in that save file, because I do really like it. Now, that being said, I am going to be updating it so that it allows for a few more items. And that is one reason, like, I have this room up here. There's not much to it right now, but my plan is to maybe turn it into a yoga studio or something. Uh, I'm going to see how that works. If it works pretty well, I'll upload it as a room to the gallery. So those of you who have spa day could add it to this gym. I just thought that would be kind of cool up there. But there's nothing in it in this build at all. So you can put whatever you want up there. There is no stairs to it currently either. However, there is room to put stairs. So you'll have to play with things a little bit. There is room. So the other thing is this roof area. I kind of struggled with this quite a bit. I cut out a lot of that struggle. But I love this finished product of the separate, you know, glass roof areas and all that. If I do the yoga studio, I'll probably copy that over and above that. And, or and put another one above that. But I didn't for this just because it is a blank space. As you can see, I thought about putting something up there. And this is where I'm like, I'm, I'll just do it if I do a yoga studio up there. But I decided not to do that and leave that flat. So, but it's an option if you want to copy that over there. It was a thought in my head, so... All right, so here I created these staircases this way using platforms because I wanted to be able to build above them. Um, that is a way you can do that. It's, it's kind of nice, but it's also tricky because the game doesn't like them. So you can see here I have a spot. I have a spot that just is open, a spot that I can't do a whole lot with. So, eventually you're going to see me trying to fill that spot. Cut out quite a bit of that, too. I think I spent 45 minutes trying to figure out what I wanted to put there. <laughs> I figure it out. It looks cool. Yeah. We're going to say that there was maybe something there that caused what you'll see later. But anyway... I also play around a little bit with the coloring here. And yeah, I think in general, this turned out really cute. And I love this, this area, this kind of reception entry area here. So the other thing I um, do want to point out, I currently have a poll on my channel where I am asking how much of a distraction is the grid when I'm building? I am trying to remember to turn it off. I am a drafter by trade. I'm used to working with grids. I don't see them. I am starting to because it was brought to my attention that it's a little annoying for one viewer. So I am trying to do that. However, if you guys don't really care in general, I might not worry about it as much. But if it is distracting to you, I am going to keep trying to work on it. If you know of a mod that turns that off, like, forever, let me know. <laughs> um, I have not found one yet. But anyway, if you want to state your opinion, check out the community page and that poll there's a couple others up there too so i try to post a poll once or twice a week just to get some feedback from you guys as to what build you want to see what you know what's going on with you what your thoughts are stuff like that you can also feel free to comment below and another thing is speaking of comments i will eventually be filling the this world with 
or this save file with townies and I will be needing some townies. So if you have created some base game only, that's what I'm going to start with uh, families. I would love to know about them and you can drop your gallery ID in the comments below and let me know what family it is that you'd like to be considered for my save file. Uh, if I get enough, I'm going to just kind of do a randomizer to figure out who's going where to an extent or who's going into the world and then figure out what houses I can put them in. Eventually, I am going to redo all of the houses in these worlds. I may put in some builds I've already done that are base game only for the base game worlds. But right now, that's where I'm starting. So, anyway, back to this. So, this little entry area, I think it's cute. It's a nice little reception desk. We can pretend a sim works there. And just a nice, open, very light pool area. I did debate about closing the pool off, but decided not to. However, if you want to add doors, go right ahead. You can. I just didn't want to. So here I am moving up to the top and I play with this a little bit because I wanted bathrooms on both levels because we know how that works. And I also wanted showers. So there are showers in the bathrooms downstairs and then I put in this kind of just shower area and I think that's kind of cool. And then just a basic bathroom up here with, you know, toilet, sink. And I like it. I think it looks really cool. And, you know, it just kind of adds to that space. Now, that being said, if you look at the sides by the stairs, I left a space on either side. And you should be able to put stairs there to go up top. Should. I'm not 100% on that. That's kind of my plan. So you might have to play a little bit upstairs to get that to work. But that that's what I'm going to attempt to do. And I'll try to remember to update the description to let you know if that worked. Because I just haven't done that yet. So anyway, what is with this thing? I... I struggled with this area too. I wanted it covered, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to necessarily pull the upstairs out more or not. And you can see I'm kind of playing with it and then decide, no, I don't like how that looks. So I just copied the front porch onto the back. And you'll see here, I copied it but I didn't copy a roof for it. I fixed that after the video. <laughs> so I do take out the pillars. I just leave it open. I like how that looks. You can always close it in if you want to. It does get fixed in the end. And you'll see that in the pictures. So just wanted to point that out in case you notice that and go, wait a minute. You have columns there and no roof. <laughs> so, yeah, that was fun. Now, you know, my usual adding and lighting. Really, this, you know, it's a basic gym. We don't have a lot of workout equipment here. So, made it for a nice short build. This actually came together very quickly compared to what I originally was thinking. So, that's kind of nice. Um, but I think it has definite room for kind of expansion. You know, some options here. You could put some yoga mats out here. You could put some uh, meditation things if you have the spa day pack. Lots of options for this build to add on to if you own other packs. But it works great if you don't. So now I'm just kind of doing some finishing touches here, trying to figure out, you know, what I might be missing, add in some artwork, some things, and we 
we're almost done with this build. All right, so here is kind of the finished outside view. And I do think it blends in really well with the rest of the buildings. It looks great from the world map. So very happy with this. I am looking forward to redoing some of these other builds around it. Not sure I'm going to keep the library. I may get rid of that and put something else there. I'm not sure what though. All right, I'm going to let you go so you can check out the other pictures. Let me know what you think of this build in the comments. I really love it. I, I just, I like the style of it. I like how it looks. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right. So the next Tony Refresh build is Tuesday, and that will be the Goth family. So make sure to like and subscribe so you know when that one is posted. All right. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye now.